Okay, so the bunting guitar arrived today. I'm very excited. Unfortunately, DHL delivered it with the box open, but uh, hopefully it should be fine. I'm sure it is. Ooh, beautiful mono case. I like that. You ready? Okay, so it's been two weeks since I got the Willow, and I have to be honest with you guys, this is probably one of the best guitars I've ever played. And it's quickly become one of my favorite instruments. So if you don't know the story behind this build, I will put a link to the previous video, which was our Tone Quest interview that I had with Yaniv from Bunting Guitars, where we discussed basically the tones that I was searching for in my head. And from there, we kind of designed, uh, a well, we actually chose the model and designed the specs around that tone that I was going for. So where do I begin? describing this guitar. My original idea for the guitar was, in a nutshell, my ultimate blues guitar, I guess. I had used one of my other guitars, the Eastwood Tuxedo, as kind of something to play off of, where I liked the idea of getting something semi-hollow or hollow, and tonally I was looking for something jazzy in the neck pickup yet clear, and a bridge pickup that was essentially just usable, not too overly bright, not too ice picky. Um, something warm would have been great. And we had decided on the Willow model because it was semi-hollow. It was a single cut. It, it kind of did remind me of that original tuxedo. Albeit, you know, looking at this, I'm sure you're going to uh, see a little bit of Gretsch in here. There's actually a little bit of Harmony uh, Jupiter or Stratotone in here. But really, after playing it for two weeks, it's its own thing. It's almost like an amalgamation of all these great guitar designs. The tones and the specs that we talked about in the last video, I can honestly say that I got that and more with this guitar. So just a brief background behind this company, Bunting. Uh, it's a small company in Israel. Uh, just a couple of skilled workers that know what they're doing. Uh, they know about woods and tone woods and how to design and build a great electric guitar uh, using knowledge not only of classic uh, electrics, but also acoustic design, even violin stringed instruments. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So let's start with my, my first impressions when I pulled it out of the gig bag. It's light which is always a plus in my book. It is for the most part hollowed inside. There is a little bit of meat still in the middle. Visually, it's just a beautiful paint job, color. I love the tortoise shell guard that he chose. That's, you know, the pick guard as well as the truss rod cover. I immediately fell in love with these knobs, these cupcake knobs, which I don't think I have on any other guitar, but um, if you follow me on Instagram, I actually posted about these knobs and I bought some more, some more sets to put on uh, some other guitars. That's how much I love them. I don't know what it is, it's just the feel thing. It feels perfect. Uh, one of the other things that I first remarked at was the bridge and the tailpiece. It's just, you know, really cool design. And I forget the company that makes this bridge, but it is compensated uh, and it looks really, really cool. And of course, the first thing that we, uh, kind of feel when we first pull out a new guitar is the neck. And the neck, I can say, is right in the middle. It's not too skinny at all, and it's not overly chunky. It's like perfect. There was a time where I only liked big, chunky necks, but as I've gotten older, uh, I've kind of toned that down a little bit. So anything kind of medium to a little bit thicker is, is where I'm at right now, and this is right in there. Fretwork is immaculate. Nothing poking out. 
And something that I noticed immediately was the headstock angle was not too crazy, which I love because I know this is going to stay in tune really well. And I'll tell you, when I pulled this out of the case, it had traveled all the way from Israel. I think it took a couple weeks to get here. It was perfectly in tune. So that says a lot about the design. Looking at the neck, it's got a beautiful, really tight flame. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the, the finish really uh, struck me because it was unlike any other kind of finish on a neck that I've seen or felt before. And I was asking him about it and the finish that they use for the back of their necks is very close to what violin makers in the olden days would use to um, finish their violins. And after he told me that, I'm like looking at him like, yeah, this kind of reminds me of a violin neck or like a viola or a, or a cello neck. It's just got that look and that, um, that feel. Some other things to note is this is a, a bolt-on. Uh, normally you think of other guitars that look like this and they're kind of a set neck thing. They chose to do a bolt-on with three bolts uh, and there's something uh, about the attack and the response of a bolt-on neck. Something that I totally love because I'm, you know, a, a Strat and Tele player and there's something about that snappiness that I like. So the scale length of this guitar is actually 24 and 3 quarters. So, so I was wrong. It's actually 24 and a half inch scale, which is kind of an uncommon uh, scale length. Uh, technically, I guess it's a short scale, but uh, I can honestly say I don't have any other guitars with that scale length, so it's something brand new to me. That combined with a 12 inch radius, also 11 gauge strings. That's something that I don't really do anymore, but on something of this scale length, it's really, really comfortable, plus you get that really nice tone. Okay, pickups. Let's talk about these bad boys because these, this is kind of what blew me away about this guitar. So these came with uh, the TV Jones T. Armand pickups, which is basically a modernized, refined version of the original D. Armand single coil pickups. And I don't own any guitars with D. Armands. Well, I do have a Gretsch that has like a bridge D. Armand, but I don't have any double D. Armand style guitars. So I didn't really know what to expect. I kind of heard that regular D. Armands can be kind of on the bright side, but the TV Jones version, which is the T. Armand, is perfect because they actually smooth out the high end so it's not as brash, it's not as ice picky on the high end. immediately fell in love with these pickups. And it kind of totally surprised me because this was a style of pickup that I have never really had experience with. And I'm glad I got to get a guitar with these. The neck is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something that was warm and, and woody, but also had a little bit of clarity. With something like P90s, like I had in the Eastwood Tuxedo, 
That was very warm and woody, but kind of muddy. Almost like more jazzy than anything. What I wanted was that, but a little bit of clarity. And this is, that's what I got with the, uh, the neck pickup. The bridge pickup also blew me away. It was not overly bright at all. It's just extremely well balanced. And that's one of the big takeaways that I've gotten from this guitar is that this is probably the most balanced guitar, sonically and tonally speaking, uh, that I've ever played. From low string to high string, everything rings out clear. There's no dead spots. Certain strings don't jump out in volume. It's all kind of like perfectly balanced. And I think it's a combination between the pickups and the build of the guitar itself. But also these pickups, sometimes they reminded me of like a Tele set because they can get a little twanging, which I love. But as soon as I clicked on the dirt and started playing with distortion, and even with a little bit of high gain, these sounded almost like a humbucker. <laughs> They lost almost like that twanginess and I could really dig in and play some power chords and do some semi shreddy solo stuff. <laughs> Which was a very happy surprise because you know I had expected this guitar to be just my kind of classic blues vintagey style guitar but the fact that I could play some you know heavy rock stuff on it made it even more 
amazing. Here's the story. I was looking at this guitar in a certain light and I could see the grain of the, the top, which is spruce. This is spruce. And I was looking at the grain. I'm like, that reminds me of an acoustic guitar top. You're making an electric guitar, but the top we're going to, to treat like an acoustic guitar uh, just to get that open uh, woody sound that I was looking for. And you know, playing this acoustically, I don't know if you can hear on this mic, but. And really that's something that struck me with this guitar is normally on electric guitars, I don't do any kind of chordal strumming. It's just not something that I tend to do a lot of, but with this guitar, just plugging it in and playing clean, it just has this wonderful balanced tone that strumming on it, like an acoustic through an amp, it just... It feels good, <laughs> but yeah, this is it. This is my new number one. Big thanks to Bunting, Yaniv, and the guys at Bunting Guitars for doing such a, an amazing job with this instrument. This guitar has reignited a spark of, of inspiration and creativity in my playing, which is always a good sign of a good guitar, a great guitar. If you would like to know more about Bunting Guitars, I'll drop the links down in the description. If you have any comments or questions regarding this or anything else, leave them down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos and guitar lessons, please click that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I'm RJ Ron Kilio. I love this guitar and I'll see you in the next video.